Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Mr. May's channel. My name is Ruby. And um that, wait, what? Ruby doesn't sound right. My name is let's see. Oh yeah, my name is May. Welcome you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing all you ladies and gentlemen out there for a fat project to do when bored you came to the right place we teach you projects we teach you these things and things and things you know my channel but no if you say you if you, you, you may think i'm sorry i'm talking in british accent i'm bad at it it's you may think like if this was live, you may think my name was Vi, Vi, and May. Vi and May. And you may. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you still might think my channel's name was Vi and May. Stop motion, it went from a lot of the stuff. The stop motion was my brother's channel, but he gave up and made his own channel. So go check that out. I have no idea what the name is. But then there's my channel, Vi and May. So, um, yeah. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie-dye something, something like this. Today I'm going to actually be teaching you how to tie-dye a rag, which is easy for cleaning. You can clean literally anything with it. And the marker doesn't rub off, uh, rub off on the thing you're trying to clean. So it doesn't turn it like pink and blue or something. I'll show you. I'll rub it on the camera. No color. No color. Hard. That blue on there. No color. My camera is really bright. That's what happens when there's gunk. But that's actually wet wipe material. Because this isn't completely dry wet. But when I but when it gets dry, I swear it will be great. If you guys cannot handle that light, I am so sorry. Do something about it. Just, once you got it on there, it's not off. So, this is part one or part two. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is part two then. Yeah. No. Part two kind of had some of that. I had to leave off and I didn't know it would stop the channel. And I didn't know I couldn't get back to it. So, I don't know if I posted it or not. If it's part two, welcome back. Part two. If it's part one, then I'm going to be teaching you guys how to tie-dye. If it's part two, then you guys were there for this tie-dye one. If it's part one, then you weren't. So, I'm just going to feel like it. I feel like it's part one. If you guys are part two, then just stay focused. So, I was actually helping the part two fellow fellows the when I was making my other one I just barely made this cool one. But if you want then so you know you guys can have any type of wet wipes you would like. These ones which I'll just give you they have to be white. White wet wipes. White wet wipes. Okay these White wipes. White wipes. Not black or red or, you know, maybe some of those. You're going to take your thing and fold it in any way you like. You can even go crumble, crumble. There. I'm done. But he, I'm going to actually do something a tiny bit more advanced. If you want to learn how to make this way, stay tuned. If you want to learn how to make it this way, I'm teaching you right now. How you're going to make it that way is you're going to roll up a corner. Don't roll the corner. Only roll it to like very, 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 very center. And then you can take your other side and start rolling that too.
and then you can twist it. And it should be twisted, and then you bring it up and around and do like that. And then you go up and around. And then you go boom. And then you go boom. And then you go boom. So, it should look like that. Something like that. Like that. Hold on this side. That, and that, and that. I don't know. Guys, get so bad. There's a hole. Now you're just going to draw. I, I just, you know what I did? I took boom. I took boom. I think I took boom. I know I took boom. And I'm actually sure I took boom. And you just draw them all very carefully on. You want to get, try to get all the way you can. Don't be wrong. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. But you definitely don't want to use like a shirt fabric or something for this. Um, if you already started using a shirt fabric, I am so sorry. Um, I just ru ruined your day badly. So, um, if those were if it was like one of your favorite white shirts. So. Um, I'm sorry, but it wouldn't be, it's not like it looks terrible. It's just, I only know how to do it this way. So, if you guys have like, I, I mean, I know how to do it the other way, but right now I'm only teaching this way and not with like a shirt. Ugh! Oh my god. I almost died. My leg was stuck and I almost cut my neck. So let me get something. I'm down here. You guys can um, maybe see my hand. I don't know. I can't see though. So. Alright. I'm coming up. mine in the tie-dye look you guys can just leave it there while you put on the lids of your stuff dang it let it sit soak in and Hats to get a few more sprays. Don't give it a lot or all that color will wash off. And there, now it's gonna look more cut eye than it should. So you're gonna give it a few sprays of water with like a watering can or you know, like a spraying water, or like something you use your hair with. This is what I Oh my gosh. Guys, I totally wasn't expecting this. But here you go. Here's what it looks like. It's a pot in the USA. It's a pot in the USA. Potty! Potty! In the USA. It looks so amazing. Oh my gosh. Did I just tie dye that? You're going to leave it over to the side to dry. If you want other products that I tie dyed, I'm just gonna stick in water to maybe make them look a tiny bit cooler. You never know. You never know. that you feel so that is how you tie dye now I'm gonna use one of my
my dryer ones, but I'll show you how it works. Come on. In the bathroom? If you're in the bathroom. And you want to. And then you guys can all see me. Hi. I'm going to do one. You guys can't see that. There you go. There. Gonna get your. And that helps it to be dry because the color will come out if you can't see that blue. But you can go. You can go. You can't see me. I'm struggling here. And then you can come and rub it. Rub it. Rub it. Just rub it. Does it hurt in here? I mean, the water may hurt in here to make it look blurry, so don't, maybe don't use water. But, um, you guys, it didn't change its color at all. Sorry. That's why I absolutely love this, because I don't always have the material to tie that with squirty thingies. So I can use the washer. I think this one turned out so cool. I'm going to try this way again another day. And maybe I'll show you what it turns out like. So thank you all so much for watching. I enjoy the rainy days with me. Peace.